this isn't the first case where African Americans were used against their will for scientific research, right? Not at all. And telling those stories, I think, is a very important part of healing that, you know, because we still have a problem with disparities in access to care. And there's a lot of fear connected to going to the doctor. Research on African Americans without their consent dates back to slavery times. But then in more recent times, I mean, the Tuskegee syphilis studies is sort of one of the most unethical research studies ever done in the United States is with hundreds of black men with syphilis were studied to basically watch how syphilis killed you from infection to death, even though it was treatable. So they withheld treatment. They didn't tell the men they were infected, which meant they also then, in some cases, infected their wives. So when the cells were taken from Henrietta in the 50s, she didn't know that these cells had been taken. No one asked her consent. And her family didn't know. She died soon after. And for 25 years, her cells were used in research, leading to incredible advances without her family having any idea. And then in the 70s, scientists tracked down her kids to do research on them to learn more about the cells. And that happened to be the same time period that the Tuskegee syphilis studies hit the press. So all the newspapers were filled with stories of scientists doing research on black men without their consent. And so for the Lax family, it was terrifying, but it also felt culturally like this moment where where it was like, see, this is what happens.